Okay, gentlemen, what I'm going to do now is show, to show you how to use this new tool that we've developed to do an audit on your racks. Uh, it's very important that we continue to use this tool. We'll show up some uh, obvious mistakes for us. So let's go to our tallies program, which I have open here. Again, I'm using my own. I have a test rack in here. So we're going to we're going to start with by opening racks and my test rack is X, 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 X. And then we're going to list it. Now we can see that we've got uh, 167. It doesn't matter. This is just a test rack so that we use. We simply go to reports. We go to rack auditor. And we're going to do a print preview on this one. And it shows that I've got a length in here. On tier 7, joint number 23. Okay, the audited tool brings that in for us. Let's close this. Let's open up the rack. Seven joint 23 right there. Now <coughs> that we've located it, now we have to go in and fix it, and that'll be in a, in a whole different video that I'll show you. I just wanted to show you how the audit tool works now that it's in your system. So we're going to escape out of here, and I'll review it one more time. So we go to racks. We open up the rack in question. We list it. We'll go down here to reports. We go to rack audit tool. In this case, we're going to print preview it. And, and it's going to show us anything that is oddball about that rack which in this case here is a measurement in at 4.08 meters okay that's uh, it for how to use the the audit tool and I would suggest that we start using that moving forward at uh, any rack that we uh, complete or that we're working on it only takes 30 seconds to go an audit on it and we catch any mistakes before they go out to our clients thank you